Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the 40B Dinosaur Q95. This is uh, of course 95mm, uh, let's call it uh, wingspan, wheelbase uh, quadcopter. It actually is a distance between the motors and uh, this is called uh, Dinosaur because of its shape. Uh, somehow this should uh, resemble with a dinosaur but I probably think that you need uh, a lot of imagination to see this as a dinosaur uh, as it's more looking like an insect than a prehistoric creature so let's see what we get in the box this will be the first part of the review because it's going to be split in two parts uh, flight test will be a separate one. Today we are going to take a close look at the quadcopter and uh, to see some details about it. So it comes with propeller guards which are made from a, a nice kind of plastic. They have a lot of flexibility although they are very light so this should be good for starting with this quadcopter. So it comes with a hopefully spare set of propellers. Oh yes, and it comes with another set of propellers already installed in there, so that's not very smart because you actually cannot take this too gentle out of the box, and there it is, not very nice of them to do that, so this is a tiny dinosaur, as you can see. It has this kind of ears or horns or whatever and here are the receiver antennas, two antennas and the FPV antenna and we have a tiny FR Sky receiver on this model and it uses a 4-in-1 ESC, uh, it runs of course uh, uh, D-Shot uh, it has uh, BL heli support and it can go up to uh, 20 amps for each motor so each integrated ESC has 2 amps rating uh, it should also support OSD it's an F3 flight controller and also uh, it has a, a 700 TV line FPV camera we'll see about that um, what I'm interested about this model, if you look closely, uh, the camera lens holder is actually glued on to the uh, camera board. Uh, there were some uh, quadcopters of this kind using this type of camera. And because of the extreme heat of the video transmitter, which is now installed on a separate board, the camera lens holder will actually melt and the camera will become out of focus, will turn, will lose focus because it will not be properly lined up. Um, I'm curious to see if uh, this is fixed on this model or not. Of course, we get also buzzer and LEDs which are no longer staying in their position. They have used hot glue to hold it in place, but the hot glue has failed. Uh, and it has failed almost on the other side as well so this is no longer in position uh, I'm going to glue it back or secure it somehow or using some other method uh, let's see what else we can see here um, there are a lot of things that you need to check for example I don't know if you can see on the camera the little three wires from the um, receiver here uh, don't have insulation uh, very near the soldering point and they are almost touching the video transmitter so that's not uh, very safe I have to move this a little uh, in the back uh, and this is not fixed at all with anything so you have to check all, all of these kind of uh, details on this tiny quadcopter because it doesn't seem to be very very well uh, built it's more like an economic build that 
needs some of your attention so I'm going to try to uh, bind with it to see if uh, it will work with my transmitter I hope that it will do so let's see how this goes so I'm on uh, the 16 uh, 16 channels so I'm going to select bind and there is a small push button here this golden push button and I'm going to use a screwdriver to press it it does a click and it pushes in I don't know if you can hear that but with it pressed I'm going to connect the battery now it's kind of hard to do it with just one hand and I'm going to let go of the switch and if you can see the receiver LED here has just turned uh, steady green which means that is now connected so the transmitter is now binded let's see if uh, the receiver uh, has some sensors connected to the flight controller or we can uh, gather some information and in the telemetry menu now I'm going to try to discover new sensors let's see if we can get something new or not and as you can see there's no detected uh, sensor because actually this receiver does not have as bus integrated into it it's a stripped down receiver it does provide good range it can go up to one and a half kilometer with these tiny antennas but it will not provide any kind of information not even a signal strength so uh, you should uh, set a fail safe on this and set a buzzer and that's all that can save your quadcopter uh, if you go out of range one more thing that I want to show you is the fact that uh, this quadcopter although it has OSD supported by the flight controller uh, it does not have OSD on the camera because probably it misses some kind of uh, wiring done correctly so you do have uh, OSD but not in uh, this build and the camera actually doesn't seem to be connected uh, let's see where is the power wire from the camera yes here as you can see the camera only has power to it and nothing else so it's not tied into the flight controller and it's connected by a series of pins to the video transmitter so you probably need to mod it again separate the camera from the transmitter board then connect the wires through the flight controller just to have OSD so uh, yet another work to be done to properly have this uh, setup so I'm not very happy with it uh, the build quality is not that great and uh, there's no OSD so a lot more work to be done at least this thing is rather cheap but as you can see it's not perfect so with this uh, drone conclusions I'm going to end this first part of the review I'm not going to hook it up to Petaflight or clean flight because you can always update the firmware on it so that's not really interesting right now because uh, this thing needs some more attention to the hardware than its software and of course in uh, uh, beta flight you will need to set up the flight modes and things like that but uh, uh, I want to do uh, that now because I first need to sort out those uh, tiny uh, problems but I don't think I'm going to bother setting up the OSD probably I'm just going to do some uh, rewiring and uh, secure all the loose parts and prepare it for a test flight until then bye bye